aim of this presentation is to analyze how we can evaluate cardiac amyloid by planar and SPECT scan in a visual, semi-quantitative and quantitative way. The current guidelines regarding the use of cardiac scintigraphy indicates the presence of a Perugini 2 or 3 grade at bone scan as one of the main criteria for the diagnosis of cardiac amyloidosis. In this slide, we can observe the four different grades of the Perugini scale. Grade zero here, no myocardial uptake and normal bone uptake. Grade one, this one and this one, you can observe here, myocardial uptake less than rib uptake. Grade two here and here, the myocardial uptake is equal to the rib uptake. And finally, grade three, myocardial uptake is greater than rib uptake and mild, and we can observe also mild or absent rib uptake. Sorry. As for the other planar semi-quantitative evaluation, we could design a ROI region of interest around the heart and on the contralateral hemithorax. And according to the ratio between heart and the contralateral region, we can define the different grades. So as in presence of a ratio is equal to one, we have a normal scan. In case of a ratio, ratio that is uh, uh, 1.2, uh, we are in presence of an equivocal scan like for Perugini 1, for example. And if we have a ratio that is higher than 1.7, we are in presence of positivity for amyloidosis scan. The use of SPECT can be able to increase the sensitivity and uh, the sensitivity of uh, scintigraphy. As a matter of fact, this uh, signal does, uh, that could be uh, defined as a sort of on-off signal is not uh, allowed to have a sensitivity uh, of 10%. And uh, uh, generally, it's due for the equivocal sign of Perugini 1. So, as we said before, the use of SPECT can be able to increase the sensitivity of the scintigraphy. This is an acquisition obtained by a CCT uh, camera in a 3D way. And as you can see, uh, this is a case of patient with the Perugini 3 grade. Uh, we are in presence of a sort of homogeneous uh, uptake of the traces in the wall ventricle. And in this case, you have the positivity also of the right ventricle. So this is a very complex case. But as you can see, it's very simple to manage aspect acquisition. If you compare the different SPECT acquisition in the three different perugini grade scale, you can observe that the deposition of the tracer is starting generally from the septal wall and the inferior wall, and then you can have a deposit of the tracer in the lateral wall and in the inferior wall as a sort of embracement of uh, the ventricle, and the apex uh, is the last uh, wall that could be uh, affected by the deposition of the ventricle. And you can observe the, the same signal also in the ECHO and the CMR evaluation. But the SPECT and uh, CT analysis allows to define better than in the other case, the Perugini 1 patient. And its use increases the sensitivity uh, of the technique because it's able to exclude the blood pool. That is one of the uh, false positive uh, um, sort of uh, uh, analysis. The evaluation of uh, uh, SUV can discriminate the four grade of Perugini and the absolute metrics 
like in this case, derived from myocardial scintigraphy are closely correlated with traditional markers of amyloid burden, such as those provided by ECO and CMR. So the uh, possible use of combined SPECT and CT increase a lot your sensitivity in the evaluation of uh, um, myocardial scintigraphy, especially in very selected subpopulation of patients. Finally, uh, as you can see in this uh, very nice uh, uh, graph and diagnostic algorithm provided by Anna and colleagues in uh, JACC in 2020, the quantitation of SPECT is included in this very interesting algorithm and it could be used and it could be of help in clinical practice. Thank you very much for your attention.